Hey, it's Allison from Computers.mom. In this quick video, we'll show you how to add an email signature, or several if you want, in Outlook for Windows. It's quick and easy to do, and it can both save you a lot of typing and make your email look more professional. As usual with our videos, don't worry about taking notes as you watch, because you'll find a one-page recap of the steps at the end of the video. Let's be clear that we're focusing here on the Outlook app for Windows. Outlook is one of the apps you get with a subscription to Microsoft 365, formerly known as Microsoft Office, not the web-based Outlook.com, also known as Outlook Web Access. And if that's not confusing enough, there are currently two versions of the Outlook app, New Outlook and Classic or Legacy Outlook. At some point, the older version will be retired, but right now when you open the Outlook app on your computer, you can tell which version you're using by looking at this toggle on the upper right. Luckily, the steps are very similar in the two versions. So let's get started. To create a signature, first click on the gear symbol up here. In the window that opens, make sure Accounts is selected on the left, then select Signatures right here. That option is very easy to miss. If you have multiple email accounts connected to Outlook, first select which email address this signature will belong to. If you already have any signatures set up, you'll see them listed in this box with the drop-down arrow on the end. To create a new signature, click the plus new signature button and your cursor appears in this larger box ready to type the contents of the signature. Scroll down, if needed, to see the bottom of the window where you will find formatting options like bold, italic, underline that will look familiar. You can also hover over any of the formatting buttons to see what they do. If we're done, it looks like we should just click Save, right? But if we do that, the signature is not saved. You can see it doesn't appear in the list of signatures, and we didn't get an error message. It's a weird little quirk in Outlook that unless you give the signature a name in this box, it does not get saved. It just vanishes. Let's hope Microsoft fixes this, but in the meantime, let's try again, and this time we'll add a name for the signature first so we don't forget. Now we add the text of the signature, and this time let's jazz it up a little bit. I can make the text bold, italic, change the font, and notice that there are additional options available under the three dots menu here, like font color. One of my favorite options is to add a link to the signature. For example, if I want to make it easy for people to visit my YouTube channel, I just select the appropriate text and add a link. We click the three dots menu again and now choose Insert Link. In the Insert Link window that appears, type the web address or URL that you want the link to point to. Of course, you can also paste a URL into this box too. You don't have to type it. Click OK when you're done and voila, your email signature now includes a useful hyperlink. Click Save and now we have a nice professional looking email signature for work. But suppose you want a different signature for emailing friends. Let's add a second one. Click the plus sign again and let's name this one alternate. I'll add some text quickly and save it. Now in the drop-down list, you can see that we have four signatures available, the two we started with plus the two we just created. Just one step left. For the email address that's selected at the top of the window, we scroll down and choose which signature will be the default, that is the one that appears automatically. You can specify which signature is used both for new messages that you initiate and for replies or forwards. Let's make them different just for testing purposes. If you have multiple email addresses, you can choose signatures for each one. When you're done, click Save again, and we can close this window. Now we're back at the main Outlook Mail window, ready to test our new signatures. Click the New Mail button, as you normally would to write an email, and your beautiful new signature automatically appears at the bottom of the message area. If you want to switch to a different signature at this point, just click the Signatures button here in the toolbar. If you don't see it, by the way, just click the three dots here to see any buttons that don't fit in your current view. Clicking the Signatures button gives you immediate access to all our previously created signatures, so it's easy to choose a different one. But notice also that you can choose that last option on this list, Signatures, to go straight to the settings where we created them in the first place. That's a very handy shortcut, a quicker, easier way to get to your signature settings than the way we did it initially. 
And finally, let's try replying to an email. I'll just use this one to test. Click reply, and we get the signature we selected as the default for replies. So that's the whole story. But if you're using the older or legacy version of Outlook, there's some small differences. For example, to get to the window where you create the signatures, in the old version, you could select File, Options, Mail, Signatures, and you can see that the arrangement in this window is somewhat different, but the items in the window are the same as what you saw in New Outlook. But that was a lot of steps, too many, if you ask me. It's a lot faster and easier to use the shortcut I showed you earlier. Just open a new email window, click the Signatures icon, choose Signatures, and here we are. Boom! So the process is very similar. Notice, though, that when I click New to create a signature in this version, it forces me to enter the name of the signature first, so you won't have that weird glitch we saw in New Outlook. And you're done! Here's a quick recap of the steps as promised. To add signatures to your email in Outlook on a Windows computer, open Outlook, click New Mail, then click the Signatures icon, then click Signatures. Create, name, and format whatever signatures you want and save them. Then choose the default both for new emails and for replies. If you have more than one email address in Outlook, you can repeat step four for each account if you like. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please click like if you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave comments and questions below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.mom videos.